Hey guys, it's Kayla. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. It is Monday morning and we are getting ready to tackle the work week. It's going to be a little bit of a crazy week because we leave on Saturday to drive home to my family's house for Christmas, but that means I have to prepare a lot of things before we leave. I need to film quite a few videos, record some podcast episodes. So we've got a lot to do this week and I'm a little bit stressed about it, but I'm trying to just stay focused, knock it all out, get it all done. Also at work, I'm trying to make sure everything is scheduled and prepped for the next two weeks of Christmas and New Year's so I don't have to stress about it. So very busy, but feeling good and just trying to get it all done this week. We are gonna go get tested later on today just to be extra super safe, even though we really haven't gone anywhere or done anything except for go to the grocery store for the last several weeks, but obviously just another good precaution to take. So that is the plan for later this afternoon. I think that's about it for right now. I have to hop on my Monday morning staff meeting in just a few minutes and really just start grinding out work for the day. On our way to go get COVID tested, I finished a lot of work this morning. I got all my engagement done. I still have quite a bit to do this afternoon. I need to write ad captions for one client and then write a blog post for another client. We had so many meetings added to our schedule this week, so I'm a little bit stressed just because I have a lot to do for work for next week and for end of year reports. So it's gonna be a little bit of a crazy, stressful week, but I think I can do it all. Hopefully I'm gonna just try and get as much done each day as possible. And then if I do have to work on some things next week, Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I don't think it will since it's a week before Christmas, not the week of Christmas. So let's do this. time. I finished work a little while ago and I've just been scrolling on social media. I need to not just scroll on social media because I have like 900 million things I could be doing right now. So I'm going to try and get back with it and focus. I think part of why I can't focus is because I am so, so hungry, but Brian started making dinner. So that's good. Hopefully we can eat in a second and then I can be more productive. I'm going to try and plan out a few podcast episodes and hopefully record one of them tonight so that I have episodes to go up over the next few weeks. I really need to get my life together and prep all this content. I really should have done more last week too, but we're gonna make do we're gonna make it work that is the plan for this evening nothing too crazy just yeah getting my life together this week got nothing done this evening. I did fold my laundry, so at least I got that done. Normally, I really put off folding my laundry, but I actually folded it right away and put it away. I think it's because like my closet is still all nicely rearranged, and I want to keep it that way. But besides that, I have not done anything productive. I just did some reading. I really needed to like film or record or do something, but we didn't get any of that done and I'm trying to like I don't know trying to push myself to be productive but also like give myself time to chill it's been a crazy year and I feel like it's okay not to be productive and go 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 all the time 
but also I need to get stuff done. So trying to balance it all. I think I'm gonna go shower and get ready for bed. It's currently 9 p.m. I definitely would have liked to shower and go to bed a little bit earlier today just because I'm really, really tired. But nine is not too bad, so I'm gonna go shower, get ready for bed, and chill. I keep forgetting to show this, but I added these two little hooks on these plastic drawers in my closet to hang all my face masks on so i just did laundry so these are all my clean ones and then i can move oh the only issue is when they're all on one hook they kind of fall off but i can keep all the clean ones on here and then when they're dirty move them to the other one and then i just have to grab those when i want to wash them and i know which ones are clean and dirty so i felt like this would be really helpful we're probably not going to stop wearing masks anytime soon so I just added these little command hooks and they're super easy to take off. So yeah, there's that. My closet looking good still. few things while I am doing all my skincare stuff for the evening. My skin, I just poured way too much of that. My skin has been looking pretty good recently, so whatever I'm doing is apparently working now, which feels really good, but I'm almost out of some of the products I've been like regularly using, mainly this Tula Glycolic Serum Toner. It's the bottle's broken so that one i need to repurchase and then the ordinary niacinamide i'm not saying this right but i'm almost out of this so i need to reorder both of those things from ulta and then the other main thing is that i'm considering chopping like 10 to 12 inches off of my hair it's gotten really long it's like practically down to my butt so i'm thinking about donating it again Leave your suggestions down below. Do I just cut off 8 inches? Do I cut off 10? Do I cut off 12? What do I do? I think I'm going to do like 10-ish and I can donate it to, I forget which place, except like 8 to 12 inches. So I could do 10. I don't want it too short. So if I cut it off at like 10 inches, it would be like a little bit cast past my collarbone, which I feel like would be prime. That's just my idea. I might end up with way shorter hair in the next week or two when I go home my aunt will cut my hair so I'm still trying to decide how much I want to cut off but the problem is I've pre-filmed a bunch of videos so those videos my hair might still be long but it will actually be short in real life who knows we'll see and I put moisturizer on I've been using this new Trichina hydro boost one this stuff's kind of expensive but it's like the only stuff to like truly help my dry skin in the winter so we deal with paying for it but that's my skincare routine basically that's kind of all i use for it oh and then i use this cerave acne foaming cream cleanser this is like the face wash i use and i was washing my face in the morning and at night but now i've been only washing it at night and i think that might be the like final puzzle piece to my skin because I think I was just drying it out too much by washing it in the morning at night so in the morning I just like rinse my face off and then do my same skincare if that makes sense I think that's all I have to say right now my hair is out of a bun now so you can see a little bit better just how long it is it honestly doesn't even show up all in frame because it's so long but yeah I'm thinking about chopping quite a bit of it off we'll see I still have a little bit to the side. I realized I never updated you guys on how the COVID test went. It took about like 30-ish minutes I think waiting in line for us to do it and it was just like a normal nose swab not the one that goes like all the way up to your brain so it wasn't too bad and we should get our results in two to four days so we'll be good to drive home on Saturday. Rosie do you want to be in the video? You're trying to be in the vlog. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Say happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. Mm -hmm.